From their curious writings made upon cuneiform blocks, there are endless areas of intrigue when it comes to ancient Mesopotamia. A fascinating and rare civilization, which had an equally striking appearance. Often adorned with trinkets, with tightly braided, often thick flowing hair, with royals regularly depicted as giants. It is also a very special area of interest for our so-called fringe research. The reason for this is that Mesopotamia is one of those rare chapters of ancient civilization which, regardless of all previously noted, has strangely continued to be accepted by mainstream institutions, field studies apparently still flowing. As previously mentioned, this astonishing, and we feel, far older than currently claimed civilization, is drenched with marvels of seemingly impossible ancient craftsmanship many of which near impossible to explain in regards to currently claimed history. The reoccurring theme one finds when another post-Ice Age technologically regressed ancestor moves in to utilize these structures offered safety will, in turn, leave behind an archaeological timeline. This then allows for an inaccurate and often blatantly ignorant dating. But to muddy said waters, are then met with a detailed, competent reconstruction of said lifestyles, religious beliefs, systems, etc., etc., all in regards to a permitted ancestor, rather than any details or logical explanation as to their technologies or constructions. However, as mentioned, going back to the recurring event we notice, is the briefest of these supposed builders' legacies, for when one has laid claim to an antediluvian wonder, the lack of understandings regarded the fortress's strength, or indeed how to efficiently use them. The ingenious design of some of the most impressive fortresses of Peru, Sacsayhuaman, Kulap for example, we posit, if under the control of the original constructors, would have been near impossible to evade and were completely self-sustained. Yet the academically claimed builders all seem to conveniently fold within less than a few centuries at most. However, the subject of most importance and currently the most compelling exhibits of an ancient advanced civilization is the nature of many of the artifacts, either recovered or now documented as having been depicted across much of their stone-cut artwork. And across Mesopotamia, notably the Assyrian civilization, they had achieved levels of technological sophistication simply impossible to have achieved in the brief, currently attested chronological life of said civilizations. Whether the Assyrian civilization and many others spanning ancient Mesopotamia have indeed been accurately identified, then an explanation for the array of remarkable technologies they had developed becomes a very hard area of archaeology to describe. Scuba divers, secret teachings, sophisticated levels and practices of law and healthcare, and most notably, and indeed the most vital section of the civilization skill set, their intimate understandings that lay within their ability to create irrigation and agricultural systems, which rival even those of the modern day. These tremendous abilities tend to make us suspect that either the dating of Mesopotamia is drastically off, or these feats of engineering were like many others adopted by this later settlement, ultimately decoded and claimed as an invention of their own. Astonishing legends of the past, accompanied by an astonishing level of sophisticated astronomical knowledge, is another crucial factor which not only indicates what we are attesting, but what we feel could have only come from an extremely old source, tributes to which seemingly found incorporated into nearly all surviving relics. Yet. As if academia claim, this ancient civilization merely wielded stone and very later bronze tools. The question is, how did they create such astonishing ancient ruins? The multi-ton Lamassu, a mysterious stone-winged horse we have covered previously on numerous occasions, it seems just like that of the so-called pre-Incas, displayed levels of sophistication specifically around horticulture far in advance of what we should have logically presumed to see. It is as if they had a helping hand, by a far more ancient yet highly advanced intellect somewhere within antiquity. 
Are these Uparts surviving remnants, memories left by a pre-cataclysmic civilization, once capable of such sophisticated irrigating and building on steep mountain land with ease, we can for now only hypothesize. It is a pursuit we find highly compelling. Modern technologies have enabled man to peek into the past like never before. Numerous discoveries have thus far been made, many of which, as we predicted, continue to reinforce our posit of past civilizations being once far older, greater in occurrence, and some in size and indeed technological prowess than currently academically stated, notably expanding recognized scales of many of these ancient cities. We believe these often remarkably ingeniously laid out settlements, now buried under millennia of strata, were sometimes either partly re-inhabited leaving later relics, or simply have surviving sections piercing the ground strata, foliage, and tree levels. Guatemala, a perfect example of this. Submerged beneath impenetrable forest, yet dotted with towers once argued as separate ruins, built in honor of various things, now realized thanks to LIDAR as one once enormous mega-metropolis. Furthermore, this ancient claimed Mayan site, amazingly, does not hold the title for possessing the largest single ancient structure possibly on Earth. Although buried under several meters of Earth, LIDAR has revealed the site as Eguadar Phoenix, a structure of astonishing proportions has been found, scanned, and measured. Discovered to be over 4,500 feet long and 50 feet in height, the platform of its roof alone would have taken a stunning expanse of space, and the research being undertaken to understand yet another mega-metropolis which surrounded the structure are finally forcing an overdue change in long-held, stubborn, ignorant, and to us, long-opposed paradigms regarding who, when, and indeed how ancient people accomplished such achievements. Researchers stated, quote, Aguada Phoenix is by far the most sprawling ruin, end quote. They continued, In fact, after three years of study, we have determined that it's by far the largest and very probably the oldest Maya structure ever found in Mexico. These quotes, however, raise some curious questions, although the research thankfully transparent in nature, sharing the incredible discovery with the world, if indeed the oldest structure ever found, one has to remember it is also one of the most incredibly massive and clearly one of the most complex architecturally constructed structure as well. The question, how is this logical? We feel a contradictory statement unless one perceives the past as our channel argues it once was. We will keep you posted on the discovery. We find it highly compelling.